So lately I've been playing a lot of uh, both Darkest Dungeon and Romancing Saga 2. And Darkest Dungeon, I'm, I'm doing really, really well. I don't think I've lost since the stream, even though I keep making uh, questionable life choices. Uh, that's Romancing Saga. This is... You know, after the uh, bad reputation of Minstrel Song and the first Romancing Saga game, I, I kind of thought this one might suck. But uh, I'm actually enjoying it a lot. It feels like a 16-bit kind of open-world game. We can do all sorts of different stuff. You can do it in whatever order you want. It's uh, it's really cool. I'm just about done with it. I'm in the last couple uh, scenarios. So I'll have my final thoughts on that soon. But first, we're going to get some final thoughts on Dandara. And I remember, I remember you ZL'd a shield. That was my big takeaway from last time. Oh, this is new. I guess it, uh, I guess the game got patched at some point to get rid of the just blank loading screen. I like that. That's good. Oh, speaking of blank and black screens, so, uh, what I learned today is that I can't actually stream from the PS4, and uh, that kind of stinks. We need to get an HDMI splitter to do it because of their bizarre you know, copy protection for Blu-rays, DVDs, that sort of thing. For some reason, it also applies to games. Alternatively, I could try to set the PS4 up to work with Twitch. I don't know. Uh, don't know that that'll actually work though. Especially, don't think I'm going to be able to get my headset to work with it. All right. When we last left off... Really, that's it? Could have sworn I had a little more health than that left over. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so... Let's go back to the missile. last thing we did was we took out these two gates on the side. Yeah. Check the map. Looks like we're just about done, right? Just a little further to go. Let's get to it. I feel like this is going to be the scene of a uh, Metroid escape sequence. Kind of really gets that impression, doesn't it? Bit of a rough start. Bit of a rough start. I think this is going to go better than last time, though. Like, I didn't see any triangles going on down there. And as we all know, the the uh, greatest weakness of Dandara is trigonometry. So if there aren't any triangles, I'm just going to be fine. Fortunately, the guns stay gone. That's good news. Get rid of those zebatite looking things. This is so Torian, like it really, really is. And I'm completely okay with this. I 
just say about math? I said there wasn't any math. that I can give him a shaft. This really does kind of feel like a test to make sure that you know you know how to use all of the weapons. Obviously I still don't know how to use this. It's kind of a nightmare. it because it hurts you. Now I don't think that's really a uh, card of the cache. That's a link to the past bombs do. Whoa. Um, hmm. Okay, this is all going very poorly. So the issue there uh, was that I forgot to switch back to missiles. Other than that, sound strategy, but uh, forgetting the missiles was basically death. It's okay though. Just me, or is that triangle guy firing a lot slower than he used to?
like this little mini boss rush kind of deal. Little mini boss in math. It's a lot of things these guys do a ton of damage. Presumably there's something in here. Gotta get the right man, Gel. Now we're doing it. Quiet compared to gain. And go ahead and raise that up just a little bit. Let me know how that's doing. platform over there. I wonder how I get it over here. <laughs> Glad that weapon doesn't hurt me. I just don't know. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, if there was a walking power up, that would be the place for it. Yeah, I just... I do not know how to get that, though. Well, 
inspiration strikes. I know where it is. Till then, let's continue on. Ah, uh, yes, the life corridor. I don't know who these things thought they were fooling. I have not forgotten. Hidden switch, huh? I wouldn't doubt it. There could definitely be a hidden switch. Oh hey, it's a switch. Hmm. through here to get to that switch. Yeah, that's probably exactly what's going to happen. Okay, well, we'll check it out. Uh, first things first, though, we got to heal back up and spend these souls. If the thing with the PS4 streaming, like... I know at one point I was able to get it to do something. Like, I remember streaming Salt and Sanctuary in a previous life. But I don't remember how I did it. Perhaps there's an older version of the PS4 software that allowed it. Okay, uh, hmm. I think we max this out. That's the most important thing right now, I think, is having a lot of, of weapon energy. So I'll tell you what, I do kind of wish the weapon energy... Yeah, PS4 still has the HTCP. But I remember I got around it at one point, I don't remember how. Like, there was an option somewhere in the system that let you just turn it off. But it did something weird to your uh, recording. Like, it automatically desynced it or something like that. Which, I mean, I can live with a little bit of desync in the recording as long as it's not in the actual uh, gameplay. But I suppose as a stream you don't want the desync it's not very oh that rod came to life <laughs> what madness is this does anybody in chat remember that enemy because i don't some tutorials and the like, and they basically said, oh, well, you need a, this other equipment, HDMI splitter, but that's not, uh, it's not happening anytime soon, I don't think. At least not this week, because I got bigger fish to fry, I'm afraid. Holy moly. Oh, and there's math, great. Uh, 
Well, that sure was room. Oh, oh good. It's a camp. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> kind of lucked out a bit there, huh? Okay. So let's pull this switch. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that started up the platform. That said, there's still some exploration to be done. I see somebody down there. There's another guy down there. Whoops. <laughs> I forgot to switch back to missiles again. Check that out. After we're done with this, though, we got things to do first. Ooh. Okay, now really, though, I need to stop running directly into all of these uh, buzz saws. It's horrifically embarrassing. Man, 
Those things just evaporate in the face of any sort of... Well, anything, really. Where I need to get is... Dodging too late. Oh, hi. The real question here is, uh, which way is down and up? I, I do not know. This is probably up. Ah, but we shall put a stop to it. thinking that would stop the buzz saws. Silly me. Buzzsaw mania is gonna run wild. This is new ish. Okay. Okay, okay. This place is way bigger than I thought it was. Let's explore over here first, since we were able to see this place a long time ago but couldn't get there. Now we're finally going to get the treasure that was over here. gonna be. This is that treasure we were looking at a long time ago. It's going to be amazing. It was not amazing. But it did refill all of our all of our salt essences, so that's good. I, I'm okay with this. I could really go for one for weapon energy, though. That would have been, uh... pretty good. Still. I'll take it. Now we can get 
exploring over here. Oh, no. Bad time to be out of weapon energy, though, let me tell you. hiding up there. Hiding behind a wall and shooting uh, phasing bullets is cheating. Big cheats. weapon energy to do this. Oh, I need to... You need to bounce the logic blast off of this to hit the thing. Oh, I can't believe I'm out of weapon energy for this. That's brutal. have to come back, I guess. kind of annoying when you can't see where you're going because your health bar is too big. A bizarre problem to have, but real.
I'm surprised none of these are the uh, energy staff guys. Now, I'd just like to express my opinion that it's super cheating to be constantly going off screen with your attacks. That's like the definition of hacks. Not cool. Okay. Now I am the one that shall do math. Anytime now. Oh really, any any time. That had way too much health. Okay, but now I gotta go all the way back around the other way. This chest better be worth it, it's a real pain. just get like one like a frame Really, the, the biggest problem with all these enemies is that they just hide places where you can't hit them. That's a royal pain.
just get tagged all over the place. Yikes. good stuff. I want the good stuff. Just uh, cut it out for a sec, that'd be great. Oh, there's math up there too. That's scary. <laughs> Everything's up here, holy moly. <laughs> Wow. And it's just salt. all this great experience I'm not going to have anymore. One more chest. Gotta get that chest. Better be amazing.
trying to get through here without wasting all my energy. So, it's kind of hard. Do you believe that this is only the second one of these I found in the entire game? Like, I'm sure there's more of them, and I'm just, you know, really bad at exploration, but this is the only the second one. So that, if you remember, is the thing that adds to the spread of your shot. Certainly appreciated. Now let's get the heck out of here. Leave you me, I want to spend all this experience. Spend it all. that guy come from? <laughs> what you doing here, Reaper dude? Mr. Plague Knight? Oh, hi, Math. Six more? 44? What a strange max level. Oh well, we are, uh, we're not going to reach it though. Because this is the only place left in the game. At least that I can see. So given the bosses we've seen so far, M. Bison and, uh, the heart. Now, I, I wonder what the final boss is going to be like. Probably really cool. Like, that seems likely. Alright, here we go. That's cool. It kind of Mega Man X vibes. Definitely Mega Man X vibes. It's TV! It's 
guy is practically Red Skull. Oh no, it's TV! Oh, okay. Okay. I see how this is gonna be. I see. That's unfortunate. That's really, really unfortunate. This is one of those things that shows up in these games sometimes. Actually, uh... Gunvolt, for example. Auto kills in the final boss are, uh, they are one of my big pet peeves. Like final bosses that have pits or attacks that just kill you, that sort of thing, drives me up the wall. I mean, we're gonna get it, but man, I wish they had not done that. It's just kind of a sour way to end everything. really quick run back. I mean, there is that. So I guess never stop moving is the lesson that we learned from this. sure that I had not hopped back, but looks like I did.
Yeah. Like, here's my question. So this is really cool. Why did he need that first form with all the auto-kill nonsense? Like, what was gained? stand on that. It's a little counterintuitive that you can, actually. I'm glad you can, though. determines whether or not you can hit the masks, though. That's something that seems a little weird. And I thought for sure the memory shaft was going to be big there, but I guess it's just for the first part? Anyways, I'm feeling better about it now. But that first part is just not, it's just not good. Yeah, the wind-up on the second one's a lot faster than the first one. Hmm. Hmm. That seems like it's somehow glitched.
strategy. Yeah, I know strategy. Shooting them right and then jumping you. <laughs> okay. Maybe I, I didn't didn't quite get there. But <laughs> This is all fun and games until there's a second form that I'm just hosed. No life there. So that's Dendara. Uh, overall, I'd say it's a pretty darn good game, though it does have its issues. Uh, the UI is kind of obtrusive. The, the hearts and the, uh, the weapon energy, they often just cover up important things, which I found to be pretty consistently annoying throughout. And then there's the issue of the uh, final boss, which was not very good. It had a first form that auto-kills you constantly, but also you can just you know, do whatever. Just fire off a memory shaft and it's dead. And then the second form, it turns out the best strategy is to just lock and load and launch all your missiles, run away, reload, and launch all your missiles. So the final boss wasn't very good but the rest of the bosses were great. It's just bizarre. But overall, I, I really liked it. I thought it was a great game. The art direction is fantastic. The music's amazing. The sounds are great. Like There are a lot of really excellent things about this game, and the concept of it is fantastic. Just jumping around everywhere, not being able to run, that sort of thing. That was really, really cool. I like this game a lot. And uh, I would play another game like this, hopefully with, you know, some fixes. But yeah, uh, this game is available on, uh, I think, everything at this point. Steam, Switch, all that good stuff. Uh, I do recommend it. I do recommend it, but you do need to uh, have a little bit of tolerance for some stuff that doesn't quite work right. Oh, well, let's see. How long did that take? About an hour? You know, I can go a little bit longer. So I think next up... Next up... How about some, uh, how about some Curb? Everybody loves Curb. This new Kirby game comes out, I think, this week? I think it's this week. And, uh... If you haven't played Kirby games... 
basically they're the happiest thing on the planet. Uh, but you also just destroy everything in sight. And there are basically no bad Kirby games. Like, I can't think of one. Friend Heart. Oh yeah, that's right. So this is the one that's about uh, using the power of friendship to uh, destroy everything. So uh, basically just Kirby. <laughs> oh, if only it were this easy. the one where you the Wii U one where you had to draw the path to move Kirby around it was pretty fun I liked it a lot uh, I didn't play Robobot or Triple Deluxe though but I've heard those are quite good as well Chili will be our friend, too. Great. Copy hints. Friend art. Oh, okay. So I guess it's got kind of the museum thing that was back from Kirby's Adventure. All right, now we've got many friends. Great. Perfect. Cool. Oh, well, what about, uh... So I'm, I'm trying to see if they've got the, uh, like, the multi-abilities from Kirby 64. Yes! Curling! <laughs> Good. Look at that buff curb statue. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, he turned into a Robobot. distinct impression that maybe, uh, maybe you can. Oh no, <laughs> it turned him into ice cream. Oh no, Kirby! Kirby is something of, uh, an elder god, like something you'd fight in Darkest Dungeon. He consumes all, knows all, ends all. Yeah, 
around. So if you're, if you're having a bad day, like, you can't go wrong with Kirby. I need curling. Curling power. Yes. Get him. Parasol Waddle Dee. chili. Okay. Now we'll put up the chumbrella. And then destroy everything! Friend action. Whee! circle? Oh no! <laughs> See? <laughs> and this is why, in all those anime, it's always the power of friendship that's used to, to you know, defeat everything. It's extremely mighty, as you can see. bulldoze everything. The other thing with Kirby games is they really aren't that difficult. Like, yeah, you still have to get lives, but, you know. Whoa, Kirby, what are you doing over there? <laughs> DDD. Everybody loves DDD. All right, uh, place him. Thank you. 
Power, power. There we go. <laughs> Is that a Mario brick? No, more power. What? No! <laughs> Small DDD! <-dee> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh, we need, we need more power. No! Only this cutter ability is where uh, Kirby gets his recovery move in Smash Brothers. <laughs> no! This whole DDD. This is a children's game. as is tradition, uh, after Kirby pummels the ever-living snot out of somebody, uh, he dances. He dances over their body. Most, the cutest and the most disrespectful Nintendo character. demo reel at the end of the demo. generally how Kirby games work, like somebody messes with his nap time or his snack time, and then he devours entire worlds. That's Kirby. Well, that was fun. I think this is going to be another excellent Kirby game, and I will uh, probably pick it up. Not this week, though. I am unfortunately traveling this week, but I think this comes out uh, Friday. Yeah, I think it's Friday. Well, that was fun. Uh, hopefully I will be back tomorrow with something else. I don't know if it's going to be Prey, if I can get the PS4 working, or if it could be Metroid Prime. But uh, we will see. I'll see you tomorrow. Later.